What gives you the right to decide what people sell in terms of plants? Well, everybody has the right to their own opinion. This is America. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by PorcupineRealEstate.com. You the town council? Yes, sir. Got a question for you. Um, and assuming you weren't the lone dissenting vote last time on this pot thing. I was, and I was in the majority. Uh, okay, so uh, you, d you voted not to let people sell pot here for recreational use? I did vote for that. What gives you the right to decide what people sell in terms of plants? Well, everybody has the right to their own opinion. This is America, and so everybody can have varying opinions. In my opinion, because of the research that I've done and my past experience from the 60s and 70s, it led me to believe from all the research that it's not as innocent as it claims to be. Well, does it have to be innocent for it to be lawful? Well, no, not exactly, but uh, it's a fact that two years ago the government of Holland, this is a fact, you can Google it, the government of Holland declared marijuana a hard drug along with cocaine because of the increasing THC levels. And as the years went by and the THC levels increased, so did the admissions into the mental hospitals and the emergency rooms for acute marijuana intoxication. And so if the government of Holland, one of the most liberal countries on the planet, declares this hybrid high-potency marijuana a hard drug, it should give us in America pause to re-examine the research and decide what's best health-wise for our citizens. Do you have any concerns about the fact that the more illegal it is, the more people use it? Well, it's not illegal. That's what everybody's confusing. Well, I said the more illegal it is. It's not illegal. Everybody in Colorado has a right to possess it and grow it. We're just talking about shops, recreational marijuana shops. That's all we're talking about. Just talking so about, you're so just we talking can't blend about, the two issues. You're just talking about killing business. We're just separating the two issues. With the, with the economy like it is, should you be preventing businesses from opening? Uh, well, we're not worried about the economy because it'll take care of itself. And we're concerned about property values, we're concerned about tax-paying citizens, we're concerned about people here in Palmer Lake being upside down on their mortgages if shops proliferate in the area uh, because it's going to be increasingly difficult for them to sell their homes because what family with kids in their right minds will move into Palmer Lake if these shops are on the corners? People live in Amsterdam, people live all over yeah, Portugal. But again, the government of Holland <laughs> declared it a hard drug, and now they're trying to bring the THC levels back down because of the health issues. Well, you know THC levels go up when something becomes illegal. It becomes more potent. Well, but then, but you well know in the free enterprise system, the higher potency, the more business you're going to get. And so that drives the THC levels up, too, because you're competing with the guy down the street that's selling the same product. All right. I appreciate you answering my questions. Okay. Could I have your name? Michael Maddox. Okay, Mr. Maddox, I'll see you in there. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, thanks, bud. Okay. Say, Who are you with? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. Only got two fingers left, sorry. Okay, all it's right. It's a poor man's TV station. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right, thanks. Are you the town councilman? I uh, Question for you. Uh, assuming you weren't the lone dissenting vote last time. I'm on pot. <laughs> I was not the one dissenting. I was dissenting, though. So I didn't. I do not agree with it. You didn't. You didn't agree. You were. You were the one that voted against the four. Is that right? No, I'm one of the four who voted against having it. I see. Uh, what gives you the right to decide what people sell in terms of plants? Well, it's a community, so it's not really my right to determine what they can sell. It's protecting my community and the people that are in it. From I mean, commerce. From the commerce, well, it's not so much the sellers that are the problem, it's the buyers. You're moving to New Hampshire, right? Well, then you'll want a free state realtor who's been here fighting for your freedom for years. Privacy, low taxes shooting and growing food on property where you want to be left alone. The folks at PorcupineRealEstate.com understand these needs. They have a good feel for urban New Hampshire, too. 
Check them out. PorcupineRealEstate.com